Hello, hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel again. This is Kurt. I'm an urban landscape photographer based in Toronto, Canada. I make this kind of video to share my knowledge and skills to help you to improve your photography. Today, I'm going to share best practice and show you how I post finished the photo from Lightroom and Photoshop to Instagram. Instagram is still one of the most important social media for us to showcase our photography work. So it's very important to have a good workflow in place. I've been posting on Instagram for quite a few years. Uh, had a lot of uh, experiment and experience there. I created a very effective way to post my photo from uh, uh, editing software to uh, Instagram feed. Today I'm going to show you my workflow starting from Lightroom Photoshop desktop version to Instagram. And also this process can be easily copied to other social media or editing software. Without any further ado, let's get started. Hi, this is Kurt Wong, a landscape photographer based in Toronto, Canada. Welcome to my channel. Here, I will tell you my photography stories, share my knowledge and skills, and make photography friends. Now we're in Lightroom desktop version. I'm going to be using this photo as an example. I just finished editing. As you can see on the right side, all the adjustment and tonings are done already. So it's good to go. Before I post on Instagram, uh, I always think about what size I need to post there. Uh, usually Instagram supports three sizes, which are square, landscape, and vertical. The three ideal sizes to post on Instagram are square post at 1080p by 1080p at 1 by 1 aspect ratio, and landscape photo at 1080p by 566p, with an aspect ratio of 1.91 by 1. The last one is a vertical image at 1080p by 1350p with a 4 by 5 aspect ratio. Within these three sizes, I definitely suggest you more consider about posing at a 4 by 5 vertical size because these days, uh, people's cell phone screen are much longer than before. 4x5 can maximize the display size on people's cell phone. In this case, I need to crop my photo. To crop your photo, you'll go to the crop tool on the top. And then under the aspect, you click on the original. Once you click on it, you will see there are more choices. If you want to do square pose, click on one by one. Hit enter. You got it or you want to choose something different, go back to the tool, click on Reset, open up the choice again, uh, let's do landscape. So 1.91 by 1, usually uh, you don't see it here. I have it here because uh, I entered the custom aspect ratio by myself earlier. So by default, it's not in the list. You need to click this, enter custom aspect ratio, and then enter 1.91 by 1 and click OK. There you go. Hit enter. You got the image. So this one I decide to do 4 by 5 so I can maximize the display on cell phone. Uh, reset here. Go 4 by 5. So be careful. Uh, this is actually a landscape version 4x5, it's not vertical. So you just need to click on X on your keyboard. There you go, it changed to vertical. So I just want to make sure um, the composition looks perfect. I may adjust just a little bit and click enter. There you go, it's ready to be posted. So from here, I, I always save a copy first because uh, the finish of the photo is probably not just used for Instagram. Maybe later on you want to uh, make a print or post on your website or even do photo contest. So make sure you save a copy for yourself first. 
Now right click on the photo, choose export, and then export again. You will see this window pop up. First you choose the folder where to save the, the photo. Uh, I create a folder called export for Instagram, choose that. File name, it's up to you, you can use the, uh, the raw file name or you can use a custom name if you have a name in mind. And then here very important, image format has to be DNG. So why you choose the DNG? Because the DNG carry both the raw file data and the editing details. So later on you can do further adjustment with your editing or you can export from DNG again to JPEG or TIFF if you want to do printing or other purpose. Compatibility is uh, uh, how you want this DNG file to be compatible with the camera raw, which is another similar editing software inside Photoshop. And then JPEG preview, it doesn't matter. It's just how you see the DNG file on your hard drive. So I usually I just choose the full size, choose in bad fast load data and in bad original raw file. The rest doesn't matter. Um, just go to the last one. After export, what action you want to take. So I just choose to do nothing. There's other option if you need to, uh, like exporting in Photoshop, you can choose the, uh, the other options. And then click export. As you can see, it's working on it. Let's take a look at the folder. There you go, the file created. And then now I have a copy of this DNG file. I can use it for other purpose. So I won't lose the editing. If I don't save it, just ask for JPEG, post on Instagram, I may lose all the editing details. So once you have the photo finished on your desktop, there's a two way to post on Instagram. First is to save a JPEG file. Uh, do something similar like how you save a DNG file. You can just choose a JPEG instead of a DNG and then post directly onto Instagram web version. Look like this. However, I don't recommend you do that because uh, first, this uh, uh, web version doesn't have a lot of feature like the mobile version on people's cell phone. For example, it doesn't have a scheduled post and doesn't allow you to save a draft and post later. Another very important reason is uh, Instagram more designed for, um, for mobile. Most of the user are cell phone user. So what you see on your PC may not look exact same on cell phone. And most of the PC have uh, lots of light at the background. It, it makes the photo brighter. But actually, once you post on a web page, when you look at your cell phone, sometimes it look, could be darker. It could be other aspects too. For example, sharpness or saturation could be different too. Since I want to make my photo look better on mobile phone, so I want to do the final toning on my cell phone before I post. So that's why I don't suggest you do this way. I would rather post this photo on cell phone directly. In order to do that, you need to move your uh, photo to the mobile Lightroom version and then post from there. First, you can uh, just open up your, uh, your Lightroom web version and then just drag the DNG file onto the web version. Once this is uploaded, your cell phone will have this photo too because your cell phone is connected with this web version. They are all online version, which is the cloud version. The other way to make it happen is uh, go to collection at the bottom on the left side, click the add sign, and then create collection. So here I'm gonna uh, create a folder called export to Instagram. So as you can see, we have this folder now, right? And then drag this photo that you already finished editing, which is a DNG file, and drag to here. The top right, as you can see the cloud sign, it's a sync in this photo right now. So after the, the sync is done, 
you will see the green check mark here. Open it, you will see it's synced. In this case, you don't need to go through uh, Lightroom web version. You can look at your cell phone's uh, Lightroom or cloud version directly. All right, let's take a look at Lightroom cloud on my cell phone. As you can see, this photo already there. If you click on the Lightroom album at the bottom, the collection folder we created, export to Instagram, already have this photo synced. So I want to take a look if this photo also look good on my cell phone. Uh, look like there's a little bit difference. Uh, I may increase a little bit exposure and um, add some saturation just do some uh, little bit more editing to make sure you look like what i expected on the computer screen now you can post onto instagram feed uh, click on the share icon the top the first way is to export as you the third one export as make sure it's a jpeg file save it now you get a copy and then go to instagram from here you choose the file and the next now you can add your caption choose the location uh, you can use other feature too like save a draft or a post in a future time and then once it's done you just click the share at the bottom or the other way to do it is in Lightroom still click on the share icon at the top and then choose the second one share from here you can share directly to Instagram feed without saving the file on your cell phone. I just noticed um, this way is better than the other way because uh, the photo quality is slightly higher than the other one, especially on sharpness perspective. Next, the same thing. Once you have uh, everything ready, you know, caption everything, you just post. So in this way, we maximize the best quality on a cell phone, which will be more appealing to the Instagram user. Okay, we finished the workflow from Lyron to Instagram. All right, now let's talk about the workflow in Photoshop. A lot of time we add it in Lightroom or Camera Raw and then do further adjustment or editing in Photoshop. So in this case, I did lots of editing on the right side, as you can see, and this photo is ready to go. Uh, first, it's the same scenario. I want to save a copy for myself for other purpose in the future. I will go to File, Export, Quick Export as a PNG. That's what I usually do. So PNG file is similar to DNG. It carry more details including your editing however it doesn't have your editing details step by step on the right side if you want to have that you just go to file save a copy and then to save a psd file so in this case uh, i don't need to save all the stuff that i added so the final result is good enough so i will go to file export quick export as PNG so I'll go to my export folder I click on save and then we'll have a copy of this photo and then now we're gonna move this to uh, Lightroom cloud similar to the Lightroom version I just showed you right we just need to move this photo to Lightroom cloud on the mobile version and then you do the final uh, adjustment and toning and then post from there the rest going to be the same process but to move to the Lightroom cloud from Photoshop it's going to be a little bit different because you're not able to create the, the file to sync together so what you need to do is go to 
Lightroom web version go to your export folder grab the photo the PNG photo just drag that onto your uh, Lightroom web version there you go you see it's uploading wait until it finished to 100 percent now you have this photo successfully uploaded to Lightroom web version that also means you will have the same photo ready on your Lightroom cloud version on your cell phone on my cell phone when I open up uh, the Lightroom cloud version so this photo has been synced and uploaded on my cell phone so the similar process you just uh, do a little bit adjustment make sure it look good on cell phone and then share to Instagram feed from there all right my friend thank you so much for watching today's video I hope my workflow can be helpful for you if you like it make sure you comment and subscribe thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye